So the first thing we'll do is head over to our pages and then our home.html. Inside of here, we can change the title of our home page to instead of being Ionic blank, we can make it home. We can also add the color attribute to our navbar. So if we add the color attribute equal to primary, and we take a look inside of our theme and then variables.scss, you can see that primary is this blue. If we change this color and still referenced our variable equal to primary, it would no longer be blue, but it would be the color that you selected. You could also add your own variables here, but for now, we'll keep it at primary. Inside of our ion content, this is where all the content of our application goes. So any items, any inputs, any cards, anything like that, essentially anything underneath the navbar goes inside of this ion content. Inside of here, we can put ourselves an ion item. And that ion item will contain a label, which we can make floating with the floating attributes. And the label will be name and we can give the user an input. The input by default is type text, so we don't have to define that, but I'm going to define that in this instance, just to say that we can actually change this to something like number. If we wanted to, for example, take in number input from the user, that would change the keyboard type. So you may have noticed before, if you go to, for example, send an email, you might get a different keyboards in comparison to when you make a phone call. So you can see here that our item is acting as a sort of holder for our inputs and label to make them appear together. And after that, we can make ourselves a button. So the button, I'm going to give the ion button attribute. And when we do that, it essentially styles our button across all the different platforms. So it should be used each time that you want to use a button inside of Ionic. I'm also going to add the block attributes and that makes the button take up 100% width of the screen. And the clear attribute that essentially gets rid of the background color of our button and simply leaves us with the text. The text for our button will be show greeting. And if we take a look at this now inside of our browser, you can see that we have this input field that when we select the button floats and we have a button here with the text of show greeting. Our navbar is blue and it has the text of home. Let's take a look now at how we can integrate some functionality inside of this app.